What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you my brand new Predator 420 engine. This is Harbor Freight's newest version of the Predator 420 engine. It has the electric start, as you can see here. Uh, it's a very simple control panel right there. You got off, on, start, circuit projector right there. So yeah, that basically separates this engine from most other engines because this has an electric start. So let's jump into this video on what this engine has, what I'm going to hopefully put it on, and what's my expectations of it. Okay, looking at the motor, you can obviously, it's pretty damn big because um, this is how big my hand is and the size of this engine is just gargantuan. So the first thing we see here is the recoil is mounted this way. I don't know why they do that, but on a mini bike or go-kart, we're going to have to flip this around and have it go this way. Um, that kind of sucks because the sticker is going to be flip flipped in a different orientation and won't be like this, but... Uh, I'm probably going to debadge this engine anyway. Okay, starting up here, we have the fuel tank. It appears to be a one and a half gallon or two gallon, maybe. It's a fairly large tank, a lot bigger than the Predator 212s. And when you're looking at, at the newer models, the old ones don't have this, which I'll show you right here. This is a very old, beat up Predator 346. They don't have the EPA thing right there. Um, it, I don't know why they have that cap there. I think it's some sort of breather thing, but it is no longer used like this. You know what? I actually made it wrong. It might might just be the other piece of that one was broken off, but this actually is for emission standard. This is going to route the gas fumes into the air filter where it can be burned by the engine which is going to further remove, remove the emissions. Uh, right here we got the air filter, typical setup for all of them. We have the choke up here and we have the gas on and off right there. Looking in here we can see the big bigger f size fuel line compared to the other motors and we can see a throttle linkage as well as a governor mechanism right here. And we can see the linkage actuating the carburetor right there. All right, now we're gonna turn the engine this way. Believe it or not, this, em this engine actually has a hemispherical combustion chamber. Hemispherical meaning half circle. Compared to the non-hemis, the non-hemi predators and clones and all that, they have a smaller valve cover and the Hemis are a lot bigger. Right here is the valve cover on a Honda GX160. Um, you can see how the shape of it is different and it's a lot smaller. Therefore, you can tell it is a non-Hemi. Now we're going to look at the head of the Tilton between the two Bajas. And you can see the head is different shaped and it's a lot bigger. That's a good way to tell it is a Hemi. Okay, back to the Predator. So yeah, the first thing you might notice is the valve cover. Uh, it is a lot bigger, so we have a Hemi head, and you might notice this right here. I believe this is some sort of charcoal canister. It's for emissions. Um, what we have going on here, I believe... Well, I actually, I don't know. This is the crankcase breather. It's going into the air filter. But then, there's a line going from the charcoal canister, there's actually two, and it's going into the air filter and one there, so I don't actually know completely what is going on here with the routing, but it's something that I'd like to point out, the newer models do have this, and my Tilton 212 that is on my Coleman CT200 that I just showed you a minute ago and I've shown you the Hemi head on it. It actually has this charcoal canister set up on it, which I took off. Another thing I immediately noticed about this engine is there is there's a lot of marker from what appears to be a Sharpie all over this engine. Um, as you can see, there's a little bit right there on the mounting, where the mounting bolts go. 
there's some in the carburetor and I've noticed this all over the engine. Um, we got the stock muffler on it. Pretty restrictive as they all there, but it's very quiet. And in some situations I do wear on the stock muffler where I can make it a little quieter if I'm trying to be stealth. And looking in here, you can also see the couple head bolts and the spark plug right there. Alright, so we're going to turn the engine again. This is the side of the engine. The first thing you're going to notice is probably how how big this crankshaft is. This is a one inch bore crankshaft, so the diameter of it is one inch compared to the Predator sizes, which is a three quarter crankshaft. Um, there's multiple different bolt patterns for whatever you want to bolt to it. There's a standard Predator 212 style bolt pattern. Um, then there's a bigger one and yet even bigger one right here. Um, you have two oil fill locations, one on the front and back of the motor. And there's also an oil drain plug in the front and back of the motor as well. One thing I noticed about the exhaust is that it's at a very sharp angle going up, so it takes a basically a 90 degree angle almost. Well, yeah, pretty much a 90 degree angle coming out of the exhaust port compared to those Predator 212 size mufflers up there, which don't do that. So I assume this is going to be a pretty big restriction on flow and power along with the stock muffler. And another thing I notice again is here's that blue sharpie again right here. Uh, I don't know what they're doing by marking that for you. If you, any of you guys know, please let me know in the comments. I do know, I do not know what the what the thread pitch and whether it's metric or SAE for the crank bolt, but I do know that the keyway on it is a quarter inch. Come back to the rear motor. There is a bunch of warning stickers and all that. And here you can see the starter right here. Uh, I believe this is the coil pack, I believe. Or the... Yeah, the coil pack, I believe. Uh, I can't remember. Correct me if I'm wrong. We got all the wiring for it. For the electric start. And the grounds. For the charging system on it. Um... Yeah. Wait, this ain't this ain't a coil. This is must be some. I don't know. To be honest, I know the battery is gonna be connected to this. So, someone in the comments, please let me know what this is. Then we got the low oil sensor right here. You can see it inside the block, and the, I believe this is the sensor itself right here. And another sticker. This is the. Emission control information tells you the oil type, which is 1030, and the emissions compliance period, which is bullshit. These things will last forever. All right, and now we're back to the front of the engine where we started. So I hope you guys like this little rundown of the Predator 420cc engine. One thing I forgot to mention that it is 13 horsepower, and I believe it is 18. 0.3 or something foot pounds of torque. It actually makes more torque than the non Hemi one, but it has the same horsepower. Um, this motor cost me around 360 bucks at Harbor Freight, and I'm probably going to put this on some sort of off road go kart build with a 40 series torque converter. Obviously, the performance, air filter, rejetted carb, straight pipe, and all that. But I'd like an off road style go kart with front and rear suspension, hopefully, and a two seater with a roll cage. So, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one.